So I didn't realize that I've never played one of the most popular total conversion mods for EU4. This is the Imperium Universalis mod, and basically it's kind of a Rise of Rome scenario. We're starting off in 500 BC, but that's not gonna happen here. We're gonna see which empires would take their place if they were to never do that. Actually, I think it's 600 BC. Either way, it doesn't matter. We're going to the year zero, so yeah, we're gonna spend quite a lot of time in this ancient world. I kinda thought this would be a good idea since we just did that video about Italian history. I was kind of into it. I, I didn't really know anything about this time period, so we might as well try an AI only game. Again, I'm still trying to figure out which country to do next. I know every Everyone's leaving their suggestions. Uh, that video probably won't come out till next week. But I'm also waiting for a couple costumes to arrive. I got a couple cultural costumes that will, uh, I think, help me get into the mood. I'm actually starting to realize why I've never done this mod before. Uh, it's all because of these damn names. This. <laughs> This is gonna suck. So since the Romans aren't gonna be ruling the ancient or classical periods, uh, we should look out for a couple other powers. The biggest one, I think, being Carthage. Obviously, they might wanna not die this time around. Other ones being Egypt, Babylon, and Assyria, which Assyria doesn't really have the greatest start, I guess. They're not in a very good spot. And then, of course, there's Ancient Greece. Ancient Greece with Sparta. They could definitely rival the Roman Empire. Uh, I mean, that is, unless they're too busy throwing away all their coughing babies. As time goes by, places will begin to colonize up north, or maybe it's just new tribes that kind of arrive. I'm not sure. But either way, don't worry. This spot will get filled in. I guess this is also good practice for Imperator Rome. I, I think this, yeah, this is definitely going to be pretty similar. Either way, Assyria is number one in the world right now. We'll see if they can survive that war. In terms of religion, I think things are going to stay like this for the next couple centuries. I, I believe we do end exactly in the year zero, so I doubt Christianity is going to pop up. Trade is likely to revolve completely around the Mediterranean. I doubt we'll see too much bank made outside of this area, but I, I don't know, we'll see. I also just gotta mention the major shade. Damn, shots fired. It's all good, cause I can't play either one. Well, I guess things aren't going very well for the Assyrians. Yeah, that's not surprising, but I I'm interested to see who gets all this new land. Another cool change about this mod is that there's a lot more wasteland. So yeah, I mean, the territory is gonna be focused mainly around rivers especially in a place like here and in Africa. There's also a bunch of interesting cultures, uh, even though I do want to remind people that I don't know shit about this time period. Uh, we got the Gauls, the Etruscans, the Scythians out here in the east. That should be pretty interesting to watch. Egypt also not having a very good start. A lot of rebellions. I don't know what happened, but yeah, this ain't looking good. I'm also expecting to see kind of a big ass Persian empire, possibly, unless other places pop up. Maybe from Parthia? They seem to be doing the best. Okay, so Babylonia. Or Babylon? I don't, I don't know what the difference is. They completely ate Assyria. I don't know how they got such a good deal. It seems a little unfair, but all right. I don't know about you guys, but I'm rooting for Kush. I love Kush. Kush is, uh, Kush is great. Really wishing them the best here. Yeah, look at these things. So we've got like little islands out here, just randomly in the Sahara Desert. I'm wondering if that's gonna make it more difficult to invade these places. It should. Wow. Okay, so the Romans have already lost one province, which, yeah, I, they're gonna die soon. I'm thinking most human players would kick booty with this place, uh, not so much the AI. So the first 50 years into this game, and uh, not too much has happened. I mean, some places have got some extra land. Either way, at the end of this video, I promise there will be one place that looks pretty much like the Roman Empire. Oh, not Kush. Don't do that to Kush. The Egyptians, again, who are pretty powerful, coming down here, probably gonna get some more of the Nile River. While Babylonia has a lot of tributary states, which that's gonna be kind of a theme here. Most nations, most like major empires, will have a lot of minor places that they're controlling. Uh, I'll kind of keep that in mind and try to show this off. There's also India that I haven't talked about at all, which I mean, I have no idea what happens here. I'm, I'm already pretty bad at this period anyways, but we do have Chola. I know about some Cholas. Now I think the British Isles should be pretty safe in this world. I, I doubt anyone's gonna be able to make this invasion. Maybe they'll make their own invasion and somehow do their own Rome. Now, I'd love to see some colonization without America. Maybe we'll see some Europeans colonize China, but I don't think that's the reason why it's here. I'm pretty sure one day, maybe we'll see some Chinese nations in this mod. So Rome is officially dead. Fantastic. Uh, so that is out of the way. I, I guess technically, though, one of these places could pretty much just be de facto Rome and do the same exact thing. The Carthaginians, though, do have all of Sardinia. That is some good news. By any chance, are there any elephants on this island? Bad news for Egypt. I guess while the Egyptians were trying to get some Kush, they were a little 
distracted and uh, yeah, the Babylonians took a lot of the northern part. It's gonna be really difficult to figure out what the hell's going on here. Cause I, I don't know, there's a lot of different little city states and stuff like that. But it seems like the Spartans are doing the best though. I don't know what's weirder, the fact that Albania made a cameo in this mod or that they're next to the Caspian Sea. What is going on? At the moment, it's looking like the Gauls, especially this nation, is probably doing the best. At least from where they started, they didn't start with much. They grow on quickly. I'm kind of wondering exactly how accurate some of these manpower numbers are. 16,000 in Sparta with 11,000 sailors. I'm always surprised to find out how many humans weren't on the earth yet, exactly at this time, so I don't know. Babylonia just ate Egypt. Wow, there they go. And now they're attacking Media. I don't know how powerful these guys are, but they don't look that strong. Now, maybe Parthia can stop them one day if they continue to snowball like this. They do have some homies. I've got faith. I believe the Africans are also going to be able to colonize. So as we go further, maybe they can reach down south or maybe up north. Either way, they're alone, so they should be pretty safe. Damn, who are you guys? You guys were doing real well, and then, uh, and then bad things happened. A lot of Greeks came over here just to slap you down. I don't know about you guys, but I would suggest maybe not moving here. Yeah, I mean, don't buy a brand new house next to some funny looking mountain. Oh, is this Athens? I think this is pretty much Athens. Cool. All right, well, at least I found him. I found him just before the Spartans kicked him into some giant hole. Empires are definitely starting to grow all around Europe, which, I mean, they kind of need to hurry because they got a lot of catching up to do. A lot of the Middle Eastern and Basically everything in Asia doing a lot better. Actually, just checking on the Great Powers list, this nation here in India, south of the Himalayas, is one of the strongest countries. Don't know how that's happening, but all right. You know, one nice thing for the Greeks, since there is no Rome, they don't gotta worry about no one jacking their mythology. Just completely ripping them off. No plagiarism here. Hey, we got another cameo. This time Libya. I mean, they're not exactly in the correct location either. I mean, they're close enough. I really don't care either way. I'm just glad there's another nation that I can actually pronounce. Cause yeah, looking back at the West, this is not looking good for me. A lot of, a lot of places doing really well. Uh, man, it's gonna suck if, if one of these countries ends up doing the best. Now I think we can possibly consider this another cameo. Uh, I believe a lot of Hoi 4 players should probably recognize this nation. They're doing pretty well too. All right, Persia, we're gonna need to see you maybe put up a fight here soon because Babylonia is starting to really dip pretty far inland and that's that's bad because there's no one really here to stop them. Oh yeah, forgot to mention this mod has different periods, obviously that go along with the campaign. And yeah, it's meant to go pretty far into the future. Carthage is beginning to do some pretty interesting things. They've got a couple uh, Italian friends and I mean, yeah, they're starting to control all of the Western Mediterranean. I guess there are technically formable nations, I think. Uh, Albion, which I mean, I had to look this up, but this is like the oldest name for the island of Great Britain. They're taking everyone over. Oh man, okay, so Babylonia is not gonna allow any sort of Persian uprising. They don't want any creepy man showing up at their doorstep asking them to kneel, I guess. Well, Albania's definitely starting to colonize. They're going up north, maybe gonna grab all of the northern coastline of the Caspian Sea. I'm rooting for you guys. Well, Sparta has pretty much taken over all of Greece. They've got a whole bunch of buddies and they're even starting to go into the Italian peninsula. That is going to be good. Who's making all the bank right now? It appears it is towards the, well, okay, 95 right there, not surprising. So I think in Carthage is making a lot of money and, uh, oh shit, okay. Yeah, definitely the Greeks as well. Damn, but India's not doing bad either. I definitely underestimated this region. I'd assume we're probably gonna see a pretty strong country come out of the subcontinent. Oh yeah, and there's just nothing up here in the Northwest. I mean, nothing at least compared to what we just saw. This region probably is gonna struggle. We do have some powers that are gonna be around for a while, just at least in this region. There'll probably be some infighting, but I, I doubt they're gonna go away anytime soon. New places are definitely popping up because uh, these guys were not here in Ireland before. I'm assuming by the end of this, someone's gonna control all this land. How the hell did Carthage get out this way? All right, they're 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 doing some black magic. I don't know, are they, they're worshiping the devil. I mean, I know that they're pretty good sailors, so maybe that explains it. I guess they could maybe just take over almost anything with the coastline. Oh man, but here come the Scythians though. They're looking pretty all right. And actually they could definitely be the ones to take over everything. So India is pretty much conquered. Yep, uh, these guys that started, you know, kind of small out here have gotten almost everything and I doubt they're gonna fall anytime soon either. I mean, even though Babylon's looking amazing, I don't think they're gonna have any interest or need to come out all the way over here. I don't know, I could be wrong about that. They seem to be kind of focused on gangbanging Lydia with Sparta's help. 
Uh, th yeah, there's definitely a race to get all this land. Carthage is beginning to take huge portions of Iberia. Surprisingly, th these guys can't stop them. I, I figured that they would stop them from that, but okay, guess not. Yep, and I can confirm the Spartans are definitely going to be taking over the Italian Peninsula, even though they actually have quite a bit of alliance. Well, this is actually what they control. They have a lot of homies. Still, they're trying to band together. Is it going to be enough though? All right, yeah, Carthage, you gotta, you gotta calm down. They are now in sub-Saharan Africa, starting to take up these guys. They probably freaking out right now. These African empires are starting to move a little bit further south and maybe towards the east, but that's not enough. You, you guys, you guys gotta do this a lot faster. Oh my God! All right, Babylon has fallen. Babylon has fallen. I don't know what happened. It, oh well, actually, it looked. I think I. I think I know what happened. Well, Carthage also doing very well in the West. I, I would stay away more than likely. Yeah, you guys aren't doing that well. Definitely don't go over the Alps. Keep your elephants at home. Now these guys are super safe though. I mean, there was a small moment where I was a little worried for them uh, and I'm assuming they actually have a lot. Yeah, okay. They pretty much have the entire area. And here we are at the end. We actually made it to 50 AD. So uh, not exactly zero. Lots of time has passed and obviously Sparta has become this world's Rome. There's no Christianity though. Not sure if that would ever pop up or maybe something happened. I, I have no idea. But anyways, here's the religious map mode. Didn't change all that much. I mean, kind of did. Yeah, it, it did change. Carthage has all of Africa and a lot of Iberia as well. You know, if I could send this over to a different timeline later into EU4, which I can't, it's not possible, but it would be nice to see them colonize America. I think as time goes by, they might end up being the strongest empire out there. Like, I really don't know where else the Spartans would go. Uh, I guess they could probably go after Russia with some time. Actually, that's a guarantee. They would probably get some of this land up here. These guys would be dead. Uh, sorry to say, you you definitely would be dead. You just, yeah, that would not go well. Um, but I do think, like I said, I think uh, the British Isles would be safe for the most part. Although, oh, I don't know. You kicking them off, you kicking them off. Still, that's kind of scary. I don't know how they got that. Uh, okay. I don't know how much faith I have in you guys anymore. I don't exactly know how much culture has changed. I'm pretty sure it's got to be very simple. Well, Albania. <laughs> yeah, they're, they're doing some stuff. And the Greeks above the Black Sea. That's nice. Okay, yeah, culture definitely changed. I just got to pay attention a little bit more. And here's the money hub. These are the two single biggest trade nodes so far in the world, which obviously as time goes by, this is going to drastically change. Either way, they got that gold. Babylon did start to come back here at the very end. I'm not sure if they'd be able to stay like that because, uh, yeah, with these guys kind of taking Pakistani territory, there's, there's going to be a lot of conflict. I'm assuming as soon as they lost that border with the Greeks, that probably helped quite a bit. Uh, Egypt's also ended up surviving. That's kind of nice. It's a little disappointing to see them not do as well. And maybe if I come back in the future, they'll have a better campaign. Yeah, and Kush. Kush, a lot of people wanted Kush. A lot of people got Kush as well, but I mean, they're still independent at the very end, even though all these people around them were trying to get some Kush. This is probably not enough for these African nations to stop Carthage if they wanted. I'd assume they're going to continue to attack towards the south. So yeah, this whole continent would probably be taken over. Here's a great powers list. Babylonia still ended up making in the top four. Carthage in only third. Yeah, and that Indian nation too. And no big surprise here, Sparta, number one. And that was kind of a surprise. They didn't start off like that quickly. It, it definitely took them a while. Anyways, guys, hope you enjoyed. This was really different for me. Never tried this before because, uh, again, I just don't know anything. So I uh, just I wanted to mix it up. And because of, again, the Italy video, I was feeling a little inspired to, to learn. I don't know. That definitely doesn't happen often. So I needed to take advantage of it. I guess I probably should have expected that a Greek nation would you know, just end up staying really powerful. Y yeah, not the biggest twist there. Still, I'll take it. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. A big thanks to Free Cruise, LBC, Destiny, F 9000, Paint Me Like You Do Your Sheila's, and Papa Stalin of the Paintbrushes, Danko Franco, Mega Fat Boy, Elijah Senpai, Rooster Jen Love, Love Disc, Swiss Argo, Maxi G, King Solomon, Abraxas, Galley, Tanner of the Nazareth, Hat Man, Cooter Donkey, Mr. Diddles Man, Brandon H, Beard Dunn 97, The Lord of Silence, Ben Whitson, Alan Kari, Jared Clarks, and Ben Moe.